Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. So, uh, oh, look at that. Progress. Hello, chasing collectibles <laughs> community. Was that was that a slick Spider Man type reveal? Um, we're here uh, talking to you. Uh, uh, I'm Tyler. That's where we're I'm Lauren. Yeah, there we go. We're, this is our first time doing this, so we're still working on the coordination. Uh, also, if you didn't hear, we've also got our names on here. Um, so we've been putting a whole bunch of stuff on our shop, and it's been really exciting. Lots of cool stuff are on there, and we're uh, building more and more. Um, so keep on checking throughout the week. Uh, but we thought we'd do a little update, um, check in with you guys. And our plan is, is to do videos like this every so often. We just pop in and say, hey, what's going on? Uh, maybe there's a trailer that comes out or we just see something that we thought we want to talk about. Uh, and so for our intro video, um, I thought we'd talk about um, why the three of us are, are, are together in terms of like working in Chasing Collectibles together, how we, we met and uh, what we plan to do with Chasing Collectibles uh, going forward. Um, so I wanted to start off with uh, Lauren because all of us, we have one the, the thing that really brought us all together was a uh, little shop called uh, Nickel Spot Comics. So I thought, Lauren, since you were the first person to really be involved in that, if you could tell us a little bit about the old Nickel Spot. Well, that was located in Fort Mill. Uh, as most of you know, if you've ever been there or looked us up online, it was in Fort Mill. I worked there as the manager. I ran the store pretty much um, we did eBay and we also did uh, obviously brick and mortar sales, you know, people coming in, selling their books, people coming in for their new books, subscription. Um, we also had uh, lots of toys at one time. Uh, we sort of scaled that down after a while and focused more on the comics and the trades. And uh, it, it was really a really well-run shop. Nick, the owner was, just absolutely great for us. We learned a lot from him uh, as far as everything from packing to um, handling, grading. So it was a really great experience. I, you know, it was, it was a real bummer when it closed down. And I know a lot of people that used to shop there were uh, really disappointed that, uh, that we closed down, but that, that was out of any one of our uh, control. That was uh, Nick's, Nick's decision to do it. He had moved to Greenville about probably a year and a half before the show shop actually uh, closed down. And uh, that's at the point where I was running it pretty much uh, six days a week. And um, eventually we had help come in. And one of the helpers was, I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, to the left, Tyler, he came in. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's me. Check that's a segue. Yes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I actually so I um, I shopped at Nickel Spot for I guess a couple of years or a year. So I don't know how long it was, but before Nickel Spot, there was a great store called Dave's Comics in downtown Fort Mill. And what happened with Dave's Comics is well, and we'll talk about Dave's show a little bit later. Is that Dave was like an institution of Fort Mill, like he was there for for decades, and he decided to close up his brick and mortar. He still does shows all the time. Um, and then he kind of transferred his subscriptions over to Nickel Spot because I was all upset too. I was like, oh man, where am I going to get my stuff? Then went to Nickel Spot and I was there for like a year and a half shopping. And uh, there was one year, it was like Thanksgiving of 2018. I sent Nick a message where I was just like, hey, you know, thanks for doing what you do. I appreciate you. Uh, and he messages me back. He's like, hey, if you ever want a job, you know, let me know. And I was working at Steak and Shake at the time and I really didn't like it. And all of a sudden someone's saying like, I can get paid to work with comic books. And I was like, yes, please. Um, and so I got to work in uh, nickel spot and that was just such a cool job. Um, you know, I'm a teacher now. I love my job. Uh, but I mean, nothing beats like going to work every day, wearing like a t-shirt as your uniform and jeans and working with comics all the time. Comics that like, I could never have myself. I mean, getting to handle like Avengers number one, or even like that, that point five amazing fantasy 15 we had at one point. Um, so that was, that was really cool. And then I knew Lauren, um, but I didn't know Tim as well, but I know Tim also um, worked for Nick when it came to like helping out at shows. 
So what, what did you do uh, with Neko Spot, Tim? Um, well, I mean, I, like, like you, Tyler, I was uh, a customer at Dave's first before, uh, uh, before Dave had, had a closed shop and, and um, sold everything to Nick. And then, uh, you know, Nick, Nick's shop was conveniently on my way home from work. So I found myself hanging out in the shop all the time. And, you know, it, it was to the point where, you know, my, my wife would ask me sometimes, like, are you going to be coming home at like a decent time today? Or, you know, and, you had a bed uh, in there. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> we did have a couch. Yeah. <laughs> And all I would do is just hang out in there, talk shop. I mean, yeah, I bought a lot of stuff, but I, I, I know, remember. I, I I used to just talk shop with Lauren and and Nick and and uh, you know sometimes even after hours, you know we would close the store and still just be talking about about books and you know Nick's uh, you know passion for for a lot of. Um, a lot more uh, unique collectibles, you know, things that are harder to come by. Whereas me, I'm 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 a lot more more broad mm -hmm. as as far as you know, comics and toys. You know, Nick used to be like, "Man, you need to focus." I'm like, I know. I'm just like I dive into everything. You know, statues, posters, clothes, um, you know, superhero clothes stuff. Uh, yeah, you do. You do have quite the uh, eclectic collection of stuff. It's everything from turtles, uh, transformers, superheroes, DC, Marvel, independent video games. A lot yeah. of a lot of stuff that uh, it's it's just so hard to keep track of. I mean, you could go into your little space that you're sitting in now, and you get you lost. You could go in there ten times and 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 mm -hmm. see something different every single time, and that's why it's 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 fun to go into that room. Yeah. I obviously I have my niche. It's it's Spider Man, but still, it's you. My wife will come in here and be like, "When did you get that?" I said, mm -hmm. oh, "I've had that for a while." <laughs> yeah, I've, I've I've always liked that about your your collection, Tim. Because like, uh, I mean, my stuff is I've got mainly comics and some. I'm mainly like Batman detective. I've got some stuff here and there, like, but like the stuff I collect back issues of is all Batman. I know Lauren's not a huge Batman fan, um, but uh, no, it's, it's cool. All of like the, the, how broad your collection is. Cause you can be like, Oh, I've got this. And this. like, you've got a really whole library. So that's, that's always been pretty neat about your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, growing up as, you know, I was born in the eighties and, and kind of raised in the nineties you know, an era of, of Transformers, you know, although I, I really didn't get into Transformers, you know, until just like maybe eight years ago, you know, I had a buddy of mine back in Jersey, um, Coop, Cooper, and, you know, he was big on Transformers, and I used to go to a comic shop called the Comic Crypt over there, and, um, and, and the owner, Brian, he was He's uh he's a big transformer guy too, you know, and GI Joes and and stuff like that, and you know, just like with with Nick's shop, you know, I used to just hang out after hours, and just you know, we would always, I would always just spend so much time there talking with them, and everything, you know, the, the first very first transformer thing I bought was a, a book called um, All Hail Megatron. And I mean, to this day, that's still my favorite run, you know, seeing how, how much of a mean dude, you know, Megatron could really be. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I miss all my guys back in Jersey, but, uh, you know, I met, I met, you know, all you guys over here in, uh, in South Carolina, Fort Mill, but, well, uh, you know, yeah, but yeah, I mean, Nick, Nick, you know, I used to spend so much time at Nick's shop. He would say I was just always loitering. And he was like, hey, you know, one day he was like, you loiter here so much. You want a job? I was like, uh, okay, yeah, sure. Well, and that's how it started. Well, before uh, we get uh, into the, uh, like what we're doing now, 
I want to ask one more question about working at the shop. What I kind of mentioned a couple of cool things that we would see because like working at a comic book store, the perk of it is like you get to see books that you may never own and probably would ever own um, yourself. Um, so I wonder if everyone could just say like, what's one thing that we got to you got to see at Nickel Spot that you're like, wow, that was that was cool. Um, Nick and I took a trip to Dallas and we were picking up a collection there from a guy <clears throat> and I saw for the very first time in person, got to hold it, got to open it, got to look at it, it was fantastic for number one. Wow. And I, I was, I was emotional just because I never thought I'd see that book in my life in real, in touching it. So it was, it was, even Nick said, are, are you crying? I said, no, 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 oh, no, uh, -uh. What, 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 no. And uh, so that was, I mean, along with that book in this collection was Hulk number one. That was there. Amazing Fantasy, Spider-Man number one, Avengers number one. Tales of Suspense 39, uh, uh, the first Thor. Uh, it, 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 it was something that I, I will probably never see again, all in one place. And it was amazing. No pun intended. <laughs> you know, I was going to say Fantastic Four number one. I think Nick's had a few of them. And, and that was one of the books, too, that, you know, I had seen come into the shop. And Nick was like, you know, check this out. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is like, you know, Marvel's this is Marvel's first family mm -hmm. right yep. here. What I, I think it was pretty much uh, one of the first superheroes that I ever connected with. You know, I it was I mean, Spider-Man was the first. And then as, as far as a, a, a team unit, Fantastic Four was just uh just something else, man. They don't make them like that anymore. Uh, another cool book I remember, House of Secrets, number uh, 92. Yeah. Uh, first Swamp Thing. Yep. I, I had seen that at the shop and uh, come in and, um, you know, Nick was like, look at this. And I'm like, oh, man. First yep. Swamp Thing. I remember before the shop, uh, when we were in the back of the cleaners, we had Sensation, Sensational Comics. I think it was the first Wonder Woman. Uh, you know, just mind boggling. I think, you know, we, we had that book and it, it sold for a, uh, a lot of money. It was crazy. We had it graded and, and shipped it off. It was a sad day, but it was, you know, I've seen some of the most iconic books in front of me that I've you know, always dreamed of seeing it in person, not, not at a comic book show. Uh, it's, it's different. When you see a comic at a comic book show, it's, it's almost like a museum piece, but when you actually have it in your shop and it's, you own it, yeah. it's, it's mind boggling. I would say one of the coolest experiences we had was like, cause you know, Nichols bought like bought comics and there was one, one day where, um, someone came in with a common collection of this said, you know, this is my uncle's and this woman, I believe was in her forties or fifties. So like, depending on the age of the person, when you say your uncle, grandfather, you kind of know like, Oh, this is going to be older stuff. Right. Um, and so the collection had a, a lot of silver age stuff, including the first appearance of Thor and a couple of other really hot books at the time. Um, and so I think what was really cool about it was one, like seeing like, like the, the person didn't really know like what the comics were like I mean they knew they were comics but like they didn't know like oh this is the first appearance of so and so and all that and uh seeing uh the way that like Nick interacted with her and like gave her like one of the, like the things that made this store so great was like Nick knew his stuff and was always very fair with people when they came in and um so that was cool and then also just seeing that book I was like wow we we just like randomly out of the blue it was a normal day and here comes this journey into mystery book. We're like, wow, it was really cool. And Thor's one of my favorite heroes. So um, that was really neat. Um, another, I'm press, great, I, another great I, thing with Nick. Sorry. Oh, you can go ahead. Uh, I got to run real quick. If I remember back. right, that same customer um, didn't know what they had. And 
the fact that Nick said, uh, you know, I, I could swear that the lady said, uh, would you, would you give me this a month, this much? And Nick said, I can't, I can't do that. I'll give you more. And that was, you know, just to me was just, uh, admirable. It was, you know, he could have said, Oh yeah, sure. I'll take, I'll take that much money. But he was fair with the lady and the lady was so, so surprised and it was, it was really cool. Yeah. That was, that was one of the things that, that he always, um, told me also that, um, you know, how we treat people, you know, it, it can come back to us and, and to be, you know, good stewards, you know, things like that, you know, um, you know, Nick, Nick was a really good, good teacher. Um, you know, it's when it came to the handling, handling, uh, people. Yeah, you know. most definitely. It was really cool. There was another situation like that where somebody had came in and, and had a really cool book and, um, he offered, you know, some, X amount of money, and I think he wrote a check for it, and then Nick was able to, he found out that the book was worth even more, so I think he contacted him, had him come back in, and wrote him another check. Uh, right. That was that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, sorry, guys, my dog was being fat. I had to do something real quick, but I caught the tail end of that, and definitely speaks well to Nick's character, and uh, we actually posted about Nick. Uh, the other day, um, because we went and visited him. The more we, the more we keep talking about him, it's like it sounds like he's gone. No, he's you know he's still around. Um, you know he's still doing stuff. <laughs> he's gonna watch. <laughs> yeah, this he's gonna like watch this later and be like, guys, <laughs> guys, I'm alive. Um, but yeah. no, he he just so he shifted to online, and so to kind of bridge the gap from there to now is um, we all kind of did our own thing after that. We're like. Uh, Tim, you did some online stuff. Lauren, you really did a lot of online stuff. You've got your own eBay store. Um, and then I would kind yeah, of put a thing still. or two. Yeah, you still have a thing. And I would put a store, a, a book on there every so often, but really not much because I got into teaching. Um, so after that, like it was like a year after that, that like uh, Tim came up to me and was like, hey, I want to, you know, do a page and maybe we can sell some books and make some videos and have some fun. And that's where Chasing Collectibles came in. And then, uh, Lauren, you did a video with us. And that was really fun. And then mm -hmm. after a little bit, we're just like, well, wait, I, I think all of us are like, well, why are we doing our, like, why not just, you know, the three of us, like, work together at Nickel Spot. Why don't we kind of keep this thing going? And now we've got our Chasing Collectibles. And it kind of kind of makes sense what we're doing now. I don't know if you guys yep. feel feel the same. Oh, Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's something, the more places that you have stuff to, uh, to educate people, uh, interact with people, um, and sell books is, is good. So hopefully, you know, the traction will take off with, with our, uh, with our Facebook page and, and, uh, hopefully to build it into something bigger and better. Yeah. And it's been, uh, oh yeah, you can go ahead, Tim. Yeah, I, I would like to, to add, you know, to that, you know, I know we mentioned Lauren's, um, uh, Lauren's eBay business uh, page. Um, Lauren, what is the name of your, your eBay, eBay business? Well, to search it, you would have to search. Um, it's different slash I slash photography. Cause I had a lot of uh, photography stuff and I had a lot of business before that. Um, so I didn't want to change it because I would lose all those, all those people, they would just disappear. So I kept that, but the, the name that I use is purple spider comics, mm -hmm. but uh, to search it, you would, you would do different dash I E Y E dash photography. And then you can find me there. We can put the link in also when I post it, when the video goes up. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. I think, I think that would be, I think that would be really great, really good. Um, you know, um, 
some of the things that, that we're doing is, uh, you know, we do have some of our items from our page uh, on Lauren's uh, business page also. Yep. And, um, you know, I, it, I think it's, it's just worth giving him credit, you know, uh, you know, for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, like Lauren said, you know, the more places we have things uh, posted, the better. Um, and so we're thankful that you're, you know, we're all working together and that we can get stuff, you know, in multiple places. Um, and, uh, so kind of talking about what we're doing with chasing collectibles is, you know, we, we've been doing the shop, we've been doing some videos here and there, posting pictures as we're going to shows and all that. And, um, I think the core of what we're doing here is like, you know, obviously there's, there's a shop, you know, they are selling stuff. Um, but really trying to be like a, I guess, a fun source of like comic information and comics for people. Um, because one thing I really miss about working at the store was just like interacting with folks and like talking shop and kind of like being part of this comic book community. So it's cool, you know, when you can go to shows or post videos and get responses from people. And so that's one thing I've really enjoyed so far with what we've been up to. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Ty was right. It's, it's, it, you know, when that was, um, when that was over, it was kind of a shock. Mm -hmm. Um, so, it, you know, I think what we need to do is, is maybe actually do some shows ourselves. I think that might be kind of, uh, mm -hmm. kind of, you know, fun to do. Uh, we would be looked at as, you know, newbies or whatever, but in, in reality, we're not, but, you know, you got all these guys that have been doing these local shows for, well, a couple of years now. So, you know, who knows what the response would be for a new person coming in trying to sell their comic books, but, uh, hey, yeah. you know, you never know. So that sounds like a plan. I mean, I mean, that, that, that sounds good to me to, you know, for us to start branching out like that into cons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think the more exposure we get, you know, we are not new in terms of our experience, but new in terms of the branding of Chasing Collectibles. But in any, any way we can just put ourselves out there and, uh, you know, even if we get to talk to some people and, you know, we get business cards, spread them out, you know, start getting more traction on the page. I think that'd be great. Um, yep. Now, Tim, I know you wanted to talk about uh, this past weekend. I didn't get to go, but you and Lauren went to the uh, Rock Hill Comic Con. How was that? Oh, that was that was a lot of fun. Um, it's it's a convention that um, that helps me to focus <laughs> my attention a little bit more because uh, it's just comic books, no toys, no statues, no movies, no games. Mm -hmm. uh, just you know getting down to you know back to my roots of of just rummaging through dollar bins and three dollar bins and you know five dollar bins to see what kind of keys and uh you know what kind of stuff i can speculate on and it feels fill a lot of runs you know I, i'm i have so many so many runs i'm working on you know with you know, X Men Adventures and Exiles and Punisher. You know, just to name name a few. You know, some of the 2099 runs. It's uh, you know, a lot of stuff you got to look for in dollar bins, and you got to really rummage. Um, since I I've collected, I pretty much own, you know, every. Every Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, mostly most of the the special edition stuff and mail away uh, stuff, and most of uh, the Amazing Spider-Man um, collection. It's uh, you know, it's just as we get to those lower numbers, it gets harder and harder to 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 get a hold of them. You know, you you go there to a convention. <laughs> not hard to see them yeah it's hard to afford them yeah <laughs> you can see them just right. fine <laughs> and then you see the you price know, and you're like oh <laughs> if, if uh, i, I want to no... drop three bills on this or do i want to drop 2500 on this you want to eat yeah. oh, 
you know, if I had known 10 years ago what I know now, you know, mm-hmm. I would have been buying the first appearance of, of the Vulture, you know, for only 200 bucks then, you yeah. know, or 300 bucks then, as opposed to now, you know, where it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's like financing a car. But that's <laughs> right. one thing that reminds me of like one of the other things you want to do here is like interview some folks that have been in the business for a while, you know, other vendors. I mean, now we've got some ideas that are cooking. We'll probably in the next, you know, few weeks and months be posting some of those. Um, like imagine going to a Silver Age, like a buying a Silver Age book off the rack, you know, or, you know, for like, you know, bronze or whatever. And you have no idea what's going to be, but you're just like, you know what? I want this book. And then, you know, I, I know, Lauren, you have a story about, uh, was it Hulk 181 that you yeah. ended up buying? And you see, you were like, you're like, oh, this is crazy. And then you had no, you know, Mm-hmm. now what this it is was I mean. probably yeah it's like 30 30 years ago or more actually i think it was somewhere must have been in my 20s somewhere i, I bought it at in a comic book shop in portland uh i walked in there and i said oh i like that I've always wanted this book and i i, I shaking like a leaf handing over 75 dollars and uh whew, didn't know what I was doing. You know, what am I doing? That's the most yeah. I ever spent on a comic book at that time. Well, Lauren was like, I might not eat for the next two weeks. But I can <laughs> yeah, but I got my comic. Yeah, I got my comic, though, you know, and I, I held on to it for uh, a lot of years and I still have it today. And I actually had it graded and, and uh, over all the years I took good care of it. So it came back in 9 So I'm pleased Ooh. with that. Man. So. And what's that address you live at again? No, don't give it. Don't give it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> don't give it. So. <laughs> Moon Avenue, Crater yeah. Lake. Yeah. <laughs> Takes about 18 months to get there, at least by <laughs> airplane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm still waiting for my, my Hulk 181 to get back. I sent it to uh, uh, CBCS and uh, yeah, they're, uh, their waiting time right now is like yeah it's ridiculous think, yeah i think i'm, I'm going I, I on my seventh month of waiting to get my book back well, yeah, talk about anticipation you, you submitted it in uh october is that correct that's when i did i think we submitted at the same show i submitted was that, some books was it october it was, or was it was it august uh i think it was october okay I mean, yeah, I submitted some books. I'm still waiting for them. And I, I went down to Greenville and submitted some more books. And I'll probably be waiting until, who knows, August or September of this year. It might have been August. I don't, I'd have to check my receipt. Yeah, but, we're uh, starting to show our age, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's a receipt? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and can you believe they hand wrote it? Oh wow! Mm. Yeah. Well, one of, so one of the cool things I'm going to show you guys one of the you know it's not expensive at all. One of the cool things that I found at the convention uh, this past weekend, um, you know, back in the '90s uh, and and early 2000s, these uh, Wizard magazines were really big. Yeah. And, yep. and and this guy had like you know a, a bunch of them there's it's still wrapped never been opened you know wizard number 49 and i used to just love you know before the uh the big boom of the internet just reading the articles inside and getting like you know all my my comic shop news and movie news and reviews and uh you know uh, it has like a price guide in the back of it but uh, supposedly it's not as dependable as as the um, as the uh, what is it the comic uh, price guide the price over guide. street yeah over yeah. street but you know it was still it wasn't very you know yeah this one September 1995 it's I saw this. And I, I love that that artwork of the X Men. They always had a poster inside. 
Tear it out. Get that poster on the wall. No. <laughs> it's what I used to do. Yeah. I used to uh, take speaking of uh, speaking of price guides, do you guys have the app CLZ? I've got that, yeah. Mm-hmm. They are going to be partnering with a third party uh, and they're going to be having uh, price guide updates for their app, but they're gonna, they will have you subscribe to that third party's uh, subscription service to get it. Uh, but it, it's gonna be really, really cool to be able to look at your comics that you have in your collection on that app oh, and wow. tell what the current market value is. So it'll be, it'll be pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Cause I've got the, uh, I've got the key collectors one and I know that one like kind of tells you you know what you but that's like only my keys is that it will tell me what those are worth so that'd be cool to have all this all the books i've cataloged Hmm. Um, that means you'll have to grade them all oh never mind (laughs) 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 they're fine they're good uh well before we um before we go off i do want to uh i'm going to share my screen and i want to show the people our store and also your ebay store um just to give them a glance at all we have um and uh, cause we have been putting a lot on there. Um, so let's see, let's go ahead. And I know I sent you a whole ton of stuff. Um, yeah. I that, that's it's going to be, yeah. It's taken me some time to get through it, but I'm, uh, yeah, that's why I'm basically every day. If you're going on the site we're we're constantly putting new stuff on there. Um, yeah, that's excellent. So the, uh, We've set it up where you can look by um, by category. So if you're just a Marvel person, you can click on Marvel Comics. Um, and there's a whole bunch of Marvel stuff. Uh, some modern for sure, but we've also got um, we got some older stuff as well. Um, we've got some... Oh, this, that's a cool one. Young Avengers number one. Hmm, that's a top book. Yeah. Um, 175 bucks. What grade is that, Tim? That one... What is it? What was that? Was it a very fine and near mint? Aha. Very, very fine, fine minus. minus. Yeah. Then we got, you know, we got DC stuff. I know Lauren wouldn't be visiting that, this page. That book is hot. So yeah, get and, it now. And right now we had a we had a promo going on. And I still haven't taken it off. And I don't think I will. I'll let it sit for a little bit. But we got using promo code chasing. You can get 10% off. You know, so please come visit the store. We got DC books um, going up and we got some cool stuff here. And and like uh, Tim has said in some of his uh, videos, one of his videos, like there were some cheap keys that you can get. Like there are that, I mean, like first appearance of Tim Drake, 10 bucks. That's not bad. Um, you got some characters that some people aren't even thinking about right now um, that you can get a key of. We've also got some independent stuff. Um, so you can find some cool smaller books here. Um, we've got a few graded books. Yep. Let's see. Then we got some little things here and there, right? We got some cards. We got um, Stanley's Mutants and Monsters. We got, you know, some kind of miscellaneous stuff. We got some trades. So, I mean, if you're not just interested in comics, if you want like a, a nice trade, I mean, hardcover trade, seven bucks. You know? Um, and, if, and also, if you're, if you're looking for something, please let us know. We'll find it for you. Yeah, we'll, for sure. We'll do our best. And then we've also got, uh, I want to bring you also to Lauren's page, uh, the Purple Spider comics that we were talking about earlier. Um, so you'll, there's a couple of things that will overlap um, between our two locations, but there's some good lots in here. Um, lots of good books that you can find, you know, you can just, you know, scroll through, got about 800 stuff on here. So I'm not going to sit here and scroll for 800 books, but I mean, there's, <laughs> there, there's some good stuff here for sure. Um, so I wanted to show you guys our, our, both of our sites just to give you an idea of what we have and there, there's constantly going to be stuff added to it and you know one of the things when we're talking about goals is maybe down the road we'll buy some comics you know um mm-hmm. and and add some more so you never know what we're going to do but I, I think we have the foundations to do a lot of fun stuff with uh chasing collectibles yeah I, i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to um you know i want to start you know meeting with with people and talking to people and just uh you know people with a lot of experience in in the field and um 
you know, people that that just collect some some really interesting things that have, uh, you know, a story to tell us. And, um, you know, I like I like taking pictures of things that we have and uh, things that I have in my personal collection. You know, I might start posting on just to kind of show everybody, you know, something neat that I found. And your address. Yeah, <laughs> and my address. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Yeah, see, that's a cool one right there. Is that a Stan Lee signature? Yep, with the uh, certificate. Uh... Very nice. One of my one of my cool things in the in the collection. I remember there. Were, I've got this over here, and I can't. Uh, Lauren, you might remember this from the from Nickel Spot. My Detective Twenty Seven, which oh, yeah. uh, all it is is a roll up poster. Like it's very small, but I had it hanging behind me. And people would come up and like, what? Like they would like stop and have to do like a double take. I'm like, no, I promise this is, this is like, I mean, barely above, <laughs> like this is nothing, you know, I just like it. Well, this, this, this is probably falls just a little bit under, but this is, this is, this is it for me. That's <laughs> I know what that is. Of yeah. Amazing Fantasy 15. Nick wow. gave me that. It's probably, uh, uh, I don't know what that'd be graded at. Did that fall off of the 0. 0.5 that we had? <laughs> probably. I don't I mean, know. It went from one but to 0. 0.5. That's, that's, that's about as close as I'm ever going to get is right here. You should put, put that in your CLC. That counts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've, we've run long enough, um, but this has been fun and we'll definitely do this every so often. Um, but thank you guys. And thank you everyone that's been following our page so far. Um, we're planning on doing lots of cool stuff. You know, 2022 should be a big year for us. Um, so thank you and, uh, appreciate all of you. Yeah, definitely. Thanks to everybody that's following us. I see that we have a thousand followers and uh, we'd appreciate if you guys all hit the share button just yeah. one time, two times mm -hmm. through the week, whatever, whatever you can do to get, uh, get your friends involved with, uh, hanging out with us too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right. I'm press pause on our recording then. Let me stop.